Joining us now is Bishop Harry Jackson, who is the senior pastor at Hope Christian Church, and John Hudak, senior fellow, government studies with the Brookings Institution. Welcome, gentlemen. Bishop Jackson, you have been defending Senator Sessions against <coughs> allegations of racism, had a rally last night at the Capitol. Why? Well, first of all, in this city, people demonize folks by certain epitaphs and labels. His record is simply this. He put the KKK out of business in Alabama. Also, he was involved in prosecuting a former KKK official for murder and oversaw that guy being executed. And he created the Rosa Parks Museum in Alabama. So if that sounds like a racist, I'm, I guess I'm confused. A lot of the questions that we saw, Bishop Jackson and John, uh, were going to, if it's the law of the land, will you uphold it? And that happened with marriage equality and with civil rights and with abortion. John, what are some examples of how his private views could conflict with upholding the law? There's a lot of law right now, uh, thanks to the Obama administration, that tends to conflict with conservative ideology. I think part of that, of course, is uh, same-sex marriage. And as Senator Sessions said in his uh, confirmation hearing today, that is the law of the land. Same-sex marriage has been ruled constitutional. It is his duty to uphold that even if he disagrees with that. That's true on same-sex marriage, it's true on abortion, and it might be true on a variety of topics that he tends to disagree with. Bishop, if the Sessions nomination is approved, the United States will have the first pro-life attorney general since President George W. Bush. He has said that Roe v. Wade violated the Constitution. It denies people to make the laws that they feel are appropriate, and he would uphold it, as we've talked about. But if he's upholding Roe v. Wade, does it even matter that he's pro-life? It matters, but we do have separation of powers, to your point. Uh, I think he's absolutely right. The laws that stand must be enforced the way they have been written. If we want to change Roe v. Wade, if we want to ch redefine marriage, we've got to go through different channels to do it. It's not appropriate for any attorney general to just decide, I disagree with this and the law doesn't matter. So then, John, how will the Trump administration go about changing those laws and then what will the attorney general's role be? For an issue like same-sex marriage, for an issue like abortion, uh, these are constitutional issues. The Supreme Court has ruled on them. Uh, short of passing a constitutional amendment or starting that process, there's nothing Congress can really do except around the edges. So what needs to happen? The Attorney General, interestingly, plays a very important role in advising a president on Supreme Court nominations. And so as vacancies occur on the court, there is one currently, uh, it would be up to Senator Sessions to have counsel with the president and say, listen, if you care about this issue or that issue or that issue, this is what you need to ask your prospective nominees. That is how changes in a conservative direction would happen on these important issues. Not through defining law, but through advice. And that means it's going to be a long-term process. Those of us on the conservative side have to get used to the fact that we can't just flip a switch and reverse the laws. There's a process to put them in, there's a process to change things, and hopefully we'll enforce the laws that are on the books. Committee hearings are often a test of a president's relationship with Congress. Based on what we've seen so far, a lot of protests, a lot of fiery questioning, what, do you, what should we expect? Uh, in terms of the Sessions hearing today, we haven't seen anything outside of the norm. Difficult questions from the other side, sometimes difficult questions from your own side are normal. I think the protests within the Senate room, uh, that's not something you see in, in every case. But this is standard operating procedure, okay. and Sessions did well. Thank you so much to both of you for joining us. Bishop Harry Jackson, Senior Pastor at Hope Christian Church. John Hudak, Senior Fellow, Governance Studies with the Brookings Institution.